Good day, my darling oddities, and welcome back to Otter Space, the part of your brain that really should remember the taglines eventually. Good lord. I never remember the taglines. The part of your brain, what was it? No, no. The part of your brain that thinks Julius Caesar is the one that owned the restaurant. <laughs> Little Caesar. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, someday. You are the otter who knocks. I am the otter who knocks. It's, it's rude to go into somebody his, somebody's house otherwise. So this is broadcast from Otter Space, and I am your host, Otter, and my guest tonight is Sargon. Sargon, say hi to our guests. What's happening, people? I am I am your uh, illustrious czar, as it were, and I'm here to uh, ruin everybody's day. <laughs> All right. Well, you can try, but you won't succeed. I have beer, I have Gatorade, and I have a special guest. Uh, usually he knocks the couch at 3 a.m. with his toe. You're not wrong about that, Voodoo. Uh, <laughs> exclamation point stroking. What you stroking? Don't be stroking nothing on, on my stream. Come on, man. This is a family-friendly stream. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Gone. Uh -oh. why don't you tell our guests, uh, so any of our guests that don't know you, although I know Mike knows you, why don't you tell everybody else a little bit about yourself? Well, um, as you can tell from uh, the way that my model and my eyes juxtapose, I'm what you consider to be a jank tuber. I'm a person that uh, I'm a person that goes around and does everything wrong on purpose because that's the kind of vibe I like to put off on people. I like to play games that nobody's ever heard of. I like to explore the deepest recesses of the internet and look at Web 1.0 stuff. One and I like to uh, create horrifying drawings <laughs> on my stream, which is what, <laughs> which is what's going to be happening tomorrow. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if you want to see some horrifying drawings, follow follow Zarkon on those links down below. The, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you're you. Welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I, if I can't if I can't hype up my guests on the show, what a what good am I? You know. Uh, so so uh, so I, I gotta ask, and I feel like this is a stupid obvious question, but I do have to ask. Is your design based off of King from Tekken? Yes, it is. Okay. It is heavily inspired from King from Tekken. Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I wasn't completely off my line on that. Because, uh, you, you know, so I know, <laughs> fun fact, I never actually played a actual Tekken game. Um, I played the Tekken demo on an old PlayStation 1 demo disc way back when. Oh, um, man. Now you talk my language. <laughs> yeah, so so there there are so many games that I never actually played all the way through, um, but I played the demo. For example, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Don't think I ever mm -hmm. actually played the full game, but I played the living shit out of that first level. And everything yeah, yeah. I am, and I'm a Superman. <laughs> over and over and over again. Oh, um, man. You were, like, uh, preaching to the choir right yeah, now, yeah, man. Sir, I yeah, know sir, that yeah, demo sir. disc. Uh, Parappa the Rapper. <laughs> Uh, that first kick punch, it's all in the mind. If you're gonna test me, I'm sure you'll find. Later, just yep. for the soundtrack, yeah. <laughs> I, I bet you're I... not the only one, but do's daddy. Uh, another person worshipping at the altar of scuff. This is true, this is true. We we have a lot of altar of scuff worshippers pass through here. It, yep, mm -hmm. I bean, I bean. You want uppy? Okay, bean wants uppy. Come on, bean! Ah, okay, bean is into his house. Ah. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when bean's on my lap in real life, she goes in my head. That's great. That's a wonderful little Bean, effect. You, Bean, you want to say hi? <laughs> okay, she hasn't quite figured out. Can you say hi with your words? I Yes, they can't see you wave, lovey. She's waving <laughs> at my microphone like, okay, this is... here. Here's the hi. <laughs> yes. Hi, Bean. They say hi, Beanie. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> That's my girl. Mwah. Daddy love you. Good job. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This is a wholesome stream. This is. Uh, I try to be. I have many holes. It's very wholesome. Uh, oh, good lord! That that that's not what I meant. Like like I got stabbed a bunch. Not okay. We're gonna move on. <laughs> you didn't hear that, Bean. <laughs> oh boy. That's uh, okay. She gets. She hears much worse from her mother. We're 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 not entirely certain that she's gonna have the cleanest of things. I'm a Swiss otter. I, I could be a Swiss otter. I'm actually a Bavarian otter. Fun fact. Um, <laughs> are you singing for the people, Beans? Yeah. I have no yep. idea what that sounds like because her head is right next to my mic. We, uh, I'm sitting back here like la 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 la. <laughs> no, it sounds fun. Any hoozles. Uh, okay, so uh, I, I got a new feature for us. So, so, so we're going to call this Otter Space Versus. 
Burn, burn, burn. Mm. All right, it's a conversation starter. All right, so yeah. it, it's kind of I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with either celebrity death battle or, or death match or um, death battle on YouTube, right? The, the, that general idea, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So today, so today I'm presenting the first episode of uh, Otter Space Versus, and it's a it's a, it's a topic that's in the news a lot lately. So we are going to discuss this right here, right now. Uh, and I did not warn Sar about this because I just decided I'm going to do it right this second. So we're going to go into it. So today's versus. Are you ready? Absolutely. I'm jonesing for it. All right. Like I said, this one's been in the news a lot lately. So the competitors are. The Long Musk himself, Elon Musk, versus the cyborg man myth legend of Mark Zuckerberg. Who wins in a battle? No holds barred. Absolutely, absolutely, Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg, like, the cyborg. Easy clap, easy clap, Mark easy Zuckerberg. Clap, easy clap, okay. All right, so what is your justification for this? Mark Zuckerberg knows jiu-jitsu and martial arts wait he does stuff like that he does he's yeah, like I didn't a, know that. yeah he's like an actual like trained practitioner oh, <laughs> of brazilian jiu-jitsu i'm like man I must don't know what he's getting into oh god damn no yeah no that's i didn't know that that is that is an easy clap holy crap i i i, I think i'm sitting here making cyborg cyborg jokes no oh damn no oh no <laughs> he has a high I, level belt Jesus Musk, what are you doing? You're you're going against the Kung Fu Cyborg. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, I knew he was stupid, but goddamn. I mean, if we're talking like, I don't like either of them. Well, yeah, no, no. You. I mean, the the only winner is the is the crowd if they both die. You know, whatever. Um, oh yeah. Oh but yeah. I, I mean, if you're gonna play some bets, you know, make a little money on the side. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, now, I, don't, I don't know who would vote for most. To be honest with you, yeah, anybody knows yeah, anything about sucker bird. <laughs> yeah, now, now, now that now, I didn't actually know that beforehand, so now that I know that, I'm like, well, damn, that's a sucker bet. <laughs> yeah, for real, absolutely. Oh, shit. Well, no, no wonder he went crying to his mommy the first time. Yeah, I know, right? Holy uh, shit! <laughs> I, still know? Can't, I still can't believe he actually pulled the my mom since I can't do it. Like, yeah, I mean, that, that's a hundred percent musk. That's hundred percent Musk. <laughs> Musk also challenged him to a second type of contest. Of, is it a pissing contest? Because there seemed to be a lot of that going on right now. Oh my God, bro! Like you, you don't even know half of it. I'm so <laughs> sick of all these billionaires and millionaires yeah. trying to stunt on social media. I just want somebody to go into an arena and get clapped. <laughs> That's all I want to see. I just want to see the, the bloodshed. Uh, oh, not Tenet has redeemed a dad joke. All right. So, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. yes, Bean. All right. Uh, damn, th threw me off. Um, <laughs> hmm. uh, a rooster measuring contest. <laughs> um, hmm. Damn it. I, I got the bean on my lap, so I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. I should, I should know this. Um, bup, 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 bup. Tag me oh, in. oh, oh, no, I got, I, I got trying to keep a PG. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Um, yeah, so, so, so why is it so easy to attack uh, Musk's new build, uh, building? I don't know. I do why. Because X marks the spot. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> There's your dad. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, go. Thank you. I didn't uh, oh, and fun fun fact, fun fact, folks, I finally fixed my chat for a long time, so uh, I'm glad I fixed my chat, because so many people have green names. Uh, now Otter versus the bear. Oh, no. Take cover! <laughs> Where are they? They're, they're coming. Yeah, yeah, duck. No, uh, Voodoo, Voodoo gave me a warning. I'm a little surprised. He usually doesn't warn me. Where are they? <laughs> oh, great. Not, not, there's one. Okay, not the oh, one. Oh, my not, God. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. Oh my god. I didn't expect this. I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> you didn't warn me about this. You didn't tell me Nobody, the bears present. There, there is no way you could prepare for the bears. <laughs> ah, ah, the hedgehog! Yeah, there's hedgehog too. <laughs> Who killed Sonic? <laughs> okay, we need to get you an ice pack. I'm good. I'm okay. I'm alright. I'm okay. If they, if they <laughs> liked it, so they put a ring on it. Several rings. Ah! 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 
What is it? Come on, baby. Ah, it's oh, love. Sorry. Love hurts. <laughs> you don't laugh at this. Your father is suffering. Uh, <laughs> Voodoo. Bad man. The ball. Mike, you don't have the balls to train me. <laughs> <laughs> love hurts. Yeah, yeah. Love hurts. Yeah, yeah. Copy out. Okay, I deserve that. And a bonk. And a bonk. Man. Okay. So much abuse. Okay. Is everybody out of ammo? So much abuse. Seriously. Oh, this is a family friendly channel. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Bean, don't. don't. Uh, thank you for the coffee. Bean, don't turn off the microphone. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. His wife is already trying to train him. Trying, failing. <laughs> Bean. Bean. <laughs> She's like smacking my face over and over, which. Unfortunately, it's very close to where the micro the headset. Uh, so there's like a little uh, adjustment thingy on the thirteen thousand point. God damn, Voodoo! How many yeah. have so many hats? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the. Ain't even been fifteen minutes yet. Things is off the rails. Right? <laughs> ah, there's no rails. You, you, you ever? So you ever? Uh, obviously, you, you played air hockey at some point, right? Yes, absolutely. This is kind of what happens. You just leave the puck on the 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 surface and just kind of. Yeah. No, just veers around. Yeah, yeah I see. Just kind of zooms around. <laughs> I haven't missed many streams. True, true. This is true. Voodoo is, is definitely one of the, the loyalist of oddities. Um, hey, shout out to Voodoo. Big shout out to Voodoo. Um, you know, it's funny. I was actually just talking about you the other day, Voodoo. Because uh, yes, Beanie. Um, so uh, as I've told Voodoo in the past, uh, my wife's handle in World of Warcraft was also Voodoo. Um, so that got really confusing in the early parts of my streaming when Voodoo first started showing up, because I'd say Voodoo, and my wife would look up and go, what? And I'm like, no, not you, Beanie. My goodness, you are loud today. <laughs> she getting hype. Yeah, she is getting hype. Bean, you want to sing for us? Sing, sing, sing. What sound does the duck make, Bean? Yeah, it goes quack, quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good job, Bean. Uh, Bean has not Bean has not been in the coffee. No, God, no. Uh, that would be terrible. This child is, is <laughs> rabid enough as it is. You rabid, you a rabid little gremlin. You got serious gremlin energy. Uh, she gets that from all other side. She, she has recently learned how to go. Hell yeah, that's the kind of energy we need. <laughs> Yeah. As a waterfowl that warms my heart. Yeah, yeah. So she is just, every time she sees a duck or a goose, she goes, she goes quack, quack, quack. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it's been a long while since I've been here. It's true, Janet. Hello. Uh, quack, quack, yes. <laughs> now she's Welcome not going to stop. <laughs> you brought this on yourself. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Quack, quack, quack. Well, uh, in Yo Gabba Gabba, one of her fate, her her absolute jam is this episode where there's a song about it's a, the episode based on animals, and there's this like mm -hmm. reggae smooth song where it's like, "What sound does the duck make when he's sitting on the pond? What sound does the duck make? Something, 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 and then you go quack, 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 you go quack, 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 yeah, yeah, like that." <laughs> uh, Trying to sing back up. She can also, she also likes it, because there's a part where it's like, what sound does the dog make when he sit, uh, playing, rolling in the grass? What sound does the dog make when he running very fast? He goes, rough, 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 a rough, rough, rough. Mm. That's no, a jam, that's a banger. Blacking. It's, it's her absolute jam. Huh? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this child is taking over today. Uh, anywho, so, um, all right, so, so, uh, unless the dog is Scooby, that's true. If, if the sound is the Scooby make, he go, rut row. <laughs> Man, you do a good one. I can never do a, a Scooby laugh like I, I, that. I, I have, I have done my time with Scooby Doo, I'll tell you that. And, and you know what? Oh, yeah. Unpopular opinion, I really liked Scrappy Doo back in the day. Oh, boy. Don't, don't at me, people. I like Scrappy. <laughs> Don't judge me. Yeah. What does the fox say? He goes, wop, 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 pow. Wop, 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 What the fox say? Yeah, one of the most memorable moments of my wedding was when what the fox say came on and the entire wedding party just went nuts. Oh my God, man. <laughs> we're, we're out on the dance floor tapping out Morse code for how you talk to the horse. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 was, it was it was crazy. Um, I mean, okay, yeah, that's I, wild. Can I put you down without you freaking out? Say no. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're okay. Okay. I thought I, <laughs> I jinxed it. Uh, um, she she's currently distracted by one of her toys, so hopefully not. Okay, all right, so the bean is off my head. Let's put my hat back on. Okie dokie. Now that the bean hour is over, uh, for the moment, <laughs> give it like 30 seconds. Um, bean stream. Yeah, it's a whole whole stream of bean. Yeah. Um, so we are gonna... I do not know if that is picking up or not. She got this little toucan, right? It's like a little toucan. She pushes the button and set, like makes noises at it, and it records it and says it back to her. Loves oh, it. that's cool. Freaking loves it. Yeah, I bet so. Oh, I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you can't. It is picking up. Beanie, Beanie, can you take the toucan somewhere else? Nope, she's just sitting there spamming the button. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> it's time for a big old swig of beer because apparently I'm going to need it. Here we go. Oh, it's going to be one of those nights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, so I posted on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it, but um, we are officially in the part of the moving process. Uh, where some of our stuff is at the new place and some of our stuff is at the old place and we can't always remember which is which. For example, I <laughs> okay. just found out that she apparently brought all of our silverware to the new house. Uh-oh. So, all of our silver. Why do you pack the silverware first? So I guess it's just going to be sandwiches and chicken legs from now on. Pretty much. My drink of choice. Okay, my drink of choice is not what I am currently drinking. I was, t- I was actually telling Khan right before stream... I've got this, uh, it's like a local brewery thing called Medusa Brewers. Um, it's, it's, good lord, child. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it's, it's so, and it's called Laser Cat Imperial IPA, and it's, it's mid, it's like a six. Um, not bad, not great, but not bad. Um, but my wife bought it for me entirely just because it's got a picture of a cat with laser beams shooting out of his eyes on the cover, or on the can. Uh, my drink fire. of choice. My drink of choice. I actually am very big on plum sake. Like if, mm. if I had to pick either a, a, it would be a plum sake, Geki Khan specifically, plum sake, uh, heated up. That's the good stuff. Mm. Uh, second choice, uh, not plain sake. I like plain sake. Second choice would probably be a, a, a red, a red or a white wine. Uh, third mm. choice would be a Guinness. Uh, fourth is a Sapporo, and number five would be a, my, my white trash is going to show here, but I would like a Paps. Oh, boy. (laughs) Beanie. I was going to say, you have a very refined palate, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, no, no. It, it, like, I, I, I dunk it, I, I slam dunk myself back into the garbage where I belong with that, I, that, uh, Paps at the end there. There is. Everything else, though, everything else sounded very like proper. Like you had Guinness, you had <laughs> nice wine, you had some nice uh, plum sake. Drink water, <laughs> says Ryko. I mean, I also drink water sometimes. Uh, granted, it, it's water boiled with beans in it, and uh, you know, streamed through through a filter, and it's coffee. It's just coffee. Uh, <laughs> so unpopular opinion. Good lord, child. <laughs> unpopular opinion i'm not a coffee person oh. more for me <laughs> i thought you were about to say all right stream's over <laughs> nah 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 so you're not insulting coffee if you start insulting coffee we're gonna have we're gonna have words we're gonna we're gonna have a new death battle um and and watch out i i know otter jutsu i know odd foo <laughs> odd foo kung tao enter the otter right in your colon <laughs> into the colon man at least buy me dinner first. Do, do, do you know why otters are tube shaped? <laughs> uh, I mean, this is why I I'm have sick a and bit but curious. <laughs> Be like, I never thought of it that way. <laughs> I'm sick and but Maybe. curious. <laughs> Coffee is not a juice. Coffee is a broth. Thank you. Uh, a broth. Vodka equals bean water. Juice as tea is leaf juice. No, 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 no. They are both broths of their respective item. They are bean broth and leaf broth, respectively. So there. I mean, I've had coffee like a a handful of times in my life. And like all the times I've had coffee, it was black. Well, there was no 
Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going to say. It's black with no sugar, no cream, no milk, nothing. Just so, straight coffee. So I tried. I tried to be that guy, right? You know, like I went through my, my college hipster moment where I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm only going to drink my coffee black. And like, nope. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm not. I lied to you. I lied to all of you. Yeah, I know. Like the first time I like, had like a cup of coffee, I was at some kind of social event and they were handing out uh, Colombian coffee, like yeah. Colombian black coffee. It was the most bitter thing I think I've ever had in my life. Oh. More more power to you in RPGs, potions, or soups. This is true. Um, you drink your coffee straight black, Mike. Uh, I mean, more power to you. Uh, but y yes, Munchkin. My lord. You are a needy bean. Come here, bean. Ah, Damn. Mike is a Mike is a real one out here drinking no, no, straight black coffee. My microphone. Dash, dash. Uh oh, <laughs> I think she took the microphone. No, but she did mute it for a second. Uh -huh. That was a, a little little tappy uh -huh. thing. I'm, my God, child! I drink coffee with a touch of cream. Yeah, coffee with a touch of cream. That's that's where I'm at. Please. Um, I used to drink a lot of sugar in my coffee. But then at one point I just randomly went on like the sugar-free diet where I had no sugar. Man, god damn child, she had it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. How do you like it? Real man this drink it black stream. and eat the grounds. Well, then excuse me, but I am not a real man. I am a real otter. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, y'all can keep I that. I need to real man. both sides of my family, so I want to avoid getting that. That's true. That's another reason that I still child. Criminy. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Yeah, we'll be in. Yeah, to the you top gonna, of you. You gonna keep room. going? You got more? Yeah, yeah, she nods at me. Yeah, I got more. You know I got more, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you challenging, Dad? Okay, okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, herp. Okay, nope. now we are standing on my on, on me. Yeah, a blah blah to you, too. That neck, that neck, that is a necklace, not a, not a harness. Do not hold on to that, please. Your mama gave me that necklace. Do not break it. I am a ghost otter from the void in the stream. Hi, uh, Magellan. How are you? Ah, a child is trying to strangle me with my own necklace. Bean is a great talk show co-host. Next versus otter. Mm -hmm. Otter versus the bean. Yeah, the bean absolutely wins. The... Absolutely. Child. I am the captain now. Look at me. I am the steamer now. Oh my yeah. goodness. Okay. Okay. She's got juice. I got I got like two seconds of quiet. Oh my criminy. I am so... Uh, you know what? I'd say I'm sorry, but this is what most of you sign in for, so... Mags in the house. What up, Mags? Mags, Mags. Uh, okay. All right. Before she starts in again, let's go... So, uh, so, so Khan left it up to me to pick the game for the evening... And, um, so, so he suggested 20 questions, but I cannot remember 20 of anything. Uh, so I decided we're going to play it safe. We're going to do a staple around here and we got, ah, child. <laughs> we're not okay, get okay, anything. This, this, this is a unique one. This is a unique one. She took her juice cup, held it up to me, blew into the straw, which caused it to splash juice out the other end into my eyeball. Bruh. Ah, child. That is chemical warfare. You are a criminal. You are That's a war criminal, child. I'm so proud. She's getting creative. She is trying. She is determined to sabotage the stream. <laughs> Absolutely. But again, this is what I, I imagine most people sign up for for when they're like, ah oh, man, well that otter guy, he's kind of a putz, but the kid, the kid's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Bean is a cute war comedy. criminal. This is true. This is true. She is a very cute. Sab Sabo Kiddo, yeah. <laughs> Sabotage Kid. Ah! <laughs> Why are we yodeling? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna heave her over my shoulder like a sack of flour, and we're gonna try to move. So so the game name of the game for today is True or False. As anybody that's uh, been on the show before knows, it's very simple. We're gonna take turns telling each other DEAD! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Man, there's this so child. much is happening right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's like climbing all over me and then like trying to jump yeah. off of me. Of course, she, yeah. so she, play, she plays the bluff card. She's like, well, you can either catch me or I can fall and crack my skull open. Your, your choice, daddy. Let's go. I, I was going to say, she's a high flyer. She's going to make a good wrestler one day. <laughs> 
Yeah, this, this this kid doesn't. No, do not take the microphone. No, no, he's trying to. No, child, child. Yeah, she knows. She Easy knows. I hear that laugh. Where is the? No, just what she's doing. She is. She is a. She is a little terrorist. Child, no. <laughs> No, no, this no, is fantastic. no, 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 oh, now it's funny. Yes, yes. <laughs> Child. You go bean. Haha, <laughs> I've got you tied in a straight jacket. <laughs> no. Be gone. Oh, no, you're fading into the aether there. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, okay, you're fine. Here, have some juice. You want some juice? Have some juice. Uh, speaking of juice, Daddy needs his beer. <laughs> I was going to say, give her that juice back. That's like uh, giving her a gun. She's going to try to snipe you with it. Well, yeah, but now... Child! Ah! <laughs> Get thee gone! <laughs> <laughs> this is her mother's genetics coming through. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> it makes for good television. Oh my goodness. Uh oh my face hurts. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay, everybody. Okay. Okay. She's she briefly distracted by Bluey. Let's roll. Uh so the game today is true or lie. So whenever there's a game in Otter Space, we gotta roll out my third best friend of the world, the Wheel of Otter Nonsense. Sense. <laughs> Yay. So, so, as my guest, Zara's going to take the first round. Zara, you're going to tell me a fact, quote-unquote, about yourself. And I have to guess if it's true or false. If I guess correctly, you spin the wheel and suffer the consequences. Jesus, child, why? Okay, let's start off with an easy one here. All right. I used to be a teacher. I'm going to go true. true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> first win goes to me. Damn. You did your research? Uh, well, no, absolutely not. Uh, I don't research anything. I don't even research, you know, what, what, where I'm going whenever I get in the car. I'm just like, I'm just going. That's I facts. Don't, I, I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Life is too... Same, man. Life would be too boring if I knew everything. It's, it's why I married my wife. She keeps me guessing. <laughs> That's facts. I like that. Spontaneity. I, is I, the bo spice I, both, of life. I both married and fathered a, a ginger. I am. I am never know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a ginger. Uh oh. She's just like that's gonna oh. be. A, <laughs> that's fighting words. <laughs> I like gingers. Like I said, I married one. Anyway, um, <laughs> so you. So I guess correctly. So the first punishment goes to you. Let's see what the wheel's got in store for Con. 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 <laughs> Give it to Khan me. gets his own bean. First round. Woo. All, all right. right. Starting all right. already. Starting already. There's your first bean right there. Boom. Got to break that record. All right. Told yeah. 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 18, 18 beans on the scene is the current record. Let's go. All right. My turn. Um. Okay. True or false. I am actually a professional level painter. I'm going to say false. Yeah, I can't paint for shit. You're right. <laughs> well, you tipped me off when you said you don't plan anything. I was about to say, wait a minute. This is true. This is true. Uh, I, I, you know, yeah. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Spin on the wheel. I'll spin on the wheel. Your turn. Wait. What do I got? What do I got? My best monster sound. Oh, okay. Um, Let me see here. Let me think. What's a good, what's a good monster? Um, I'm going to go with... Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan's... Well, I mean, he's a monster, but okay, all right, you know, yeah, brother! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> what are you going to do when Hulkamania goes wild on you? <laughs> that's <laughs> my, beautiful. My throat still hasn't quite gotten over uh, last week's cold, so that one hurt a little bit. Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> no, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> that's good, thank well, thank you. <laughs> that was a good one, I like that. I that was good. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. All right, your turn. All right, what's, let's see. What's a fact? What is a fact about me that you might not know about? Hmm. 
let's see. I am six feet tall. True or false? True. Yes. Ah. Uh, I'm actually so, six foot three. <laughs> oh, well, then I'm wrong. If you're six foot three, then I'm wrong. Oh, well, I was going for like six feet at least. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take the lose on that one because I was technically wrong. All right, I need to think of more Cause, simple cause, questions. Because if I if I said six foot, if I said tr uh, false, and you you said, oh, damn, you're wrong. I'm six foot three. I'd be like, no, six foot three is not six foot. Not, <laughs> Right. I'm so confused now. <laughs> the point is, you won that round. Um, let me tell you. So, fun, fun fact, fun fact. Uh, my, my, my otter exterior, like the camera takes off about three feet on, uh, of your of otter greatness here. Uh, I am, mm -hmm. at, I actually am six feet exactly. Um, but my oh. doctor doesn't want to let me have that. My doctor does not want to let me have six foot. My doctor, oh. officially, my, my medical record, 100%, 100% official, says 5 foot 12 inches. I'm what? like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Just that let me be 6 tall. foot. <laughs> he didn't want me to be 6 foot, so I'm 5 foot 12 inches. That's 6 feet tall. Like... That, I know. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell kind of sour grapes is this bullshit? Your ass is 5'11", so you don't want anybody else to be 6 foot? Uh, I ain't never heard no... I ain't five never foot heard twelve like inches. In my life. Hand hand odd. I I hand odd. I wouldn't lie to you. Five foot thirteen inches, Ryko. <laughs> you, you tall, Ryko. <laughs> All right, so I will take the lose on that one because you are six three, not six zero. I am six zero, but the camera makes me look three feet tall as an otter. So, oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> Ryko Star is the most normal human from Earth I have ever met. Bet you can't guess who put that punishment on the wheel. On the wheel. Hmm. hmm. I wonder. Let me think. I don't know. I think I'm stumped. Was it? Was it Voodoo? It might have been Voodoo. Hex. Yeah, it was it was Voodoo. Yeah. Voodoo. Voodoo. Voodoo did it. All right. Okay. So my turn. All right. So I. I may. So my fact. I may not be a professional painter, but I do consider myself a professional manicurist. Hmm. 6'3", as a 6'3 person, I'll invite you to the 6-foot club. A six, You know what? A 6-foot club sandwich would be delightful. Thank you. Man, that's a lot of meat. Yeah. I'm going to say true. It is true. It is true. So, so fun fact hmm. about... Uh, so, uh, anybody that's been to a regular amount of these shows knows... Uh, to some extent, that I am what I what, what I like to refer to as a professional old person wrangler, um, <laughs> and okay. and what that entails is a lot of time working in nursing homes, decades worth of a decades worth of working in nursing homes, um, oh. and the little old ladies. You know what they really want more than anything else? They want to feel pretty. Oh, and so you paint their nails and. I mean, so one of the moments that I, I will always stick, I don't work in a nursing home anymore because I got burned out because of a panini. Um, but one of the moments that will always stick with me was this little old lady who could barely talk above a whisper. And she, 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 she had a very hard time expressing what color she wanted because, you know, she was like 90, 98 or some shit. Like really, like she's, she was old. <laughs> mm -hmm, no, no yeah. nice way to put it. But so she eventually was able to communicate the colors she wanted. She wanted each nail a different color, and, and she was able to slowly com communicate that, even though she could barely talk, barely talk. Um, and, and that's <laughs> not that, otter. that's not yeah. This is, this is, and then Otter undoes the package of coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> you thought something? No, I thought that was going. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, and, and the moment that will always stick with me is because after I, so I did each of her nails a different color, just like she asked, and I get her all set up and, and I start bringing her back to, to her, her, her room and she managed, she, she weighs me down cause she knows I can't hear her because like I said, she talks to them, so she weighs me down. So I get real close to her, right, right on next to her, my ear to, she goes, thank you for making me feel special. Oh, and I was like, ah, <laughs> my heart. That's so nice. I was like, oh my god. I'm gonna <laughs> cry. 
Uh, no, so be nice, be nice is. to be nice to old people. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I lost that round, so I will spin the wheel. Boop. You have to explain the panini though. The, pe the panini. The panini. The pandemic. Oh, ooh, I, I just I... don't like using the bad word. Okay, Ryko, you're not getting a second one out of me. <laughs> Rigged. Improv jazz all. And now the trumpets. Man, <laughs> now I'm awake. <laughs> Apol well, I'd say apologies, headphone users, but no. No apologies. I don't apologize. Mm. Savagery. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Everybody got lulled into a false sense of security with that ASMR bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man. Man, what do they put in this beer, man? Fun fact, those were not <laughs> trumpets. He had Taco Bell. Nah, man. I don't mess with the Taco Bell. You don't mess with Taco Bell. Not, not, not right now. Not right now. Not when I don't know when I'm going to have to get up and move. You know, I, I, I got shit to do. Yeah, that's... Fair. I would not like, <laughs> eat Taco Bell before a stream. It's, it's basically what I'm getting to. Yeah, I can I can understand that. I do I do occasionally. I, I like me some nacho. No, you may not have any beer, child. Absolutely <laughs> not. She comes over and take. Yeah, the wife took the TP to the new house. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if she took most of it. Oh man. Not all of it, because that would be punishing herself too. But um. Yeah, the, 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 be the bean comes over and reaches for my canopy. I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not trying to, uh, not trying to have hyper and drunk bean. Baby, okay, so so true facts right here. Children, they're just drunk little people. You know, like, like right now, she just she's picked up a random cup that she that we we got her that she <laughs> likes to play with, and she put her mouth in it and going. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I yeah. was just thinking about that, hearing her like babble in the background. I was like, yeah, yep. that's absolutely 100% drunk talk. <laughs> yeah, you drop the cup. Amen to that. Says Mike, yeah, absolutely. Baby, kids are just little drunk people. That's all, that's all there is to it. Ah! And she just slammed her cup on my desk. Twice. Three times. Child, hang on! That's a, that's <laughs> I, a big cup. I can't, I can, well, it's like a, so, so the bean really likes lemons. Like, she'll mm -hmm. eat them lined and all, like a, like a friggin' apple. Wow. Um, so, for her, her bir first birthday was lemon-themed. So, one of the presents was this, I don't, I don't, it's like, not ceramic, it's like tin. Um, mm -hmm. and it just, it's it got pictures of lemons on it. It says, lemonade is always a good idea. Mm. And she's distracted by Bluey again. All right. <laughs> Bean's got good taste. Lemonade Bean is very it. good. Speaking as a southerner, a nice cool glass of lemonade. Lemonade, you, you, can't, you can't go wrong with lemonade. Uh, you know what I recently saw on TikTok? Um, so I, fo I follow a guy named Jordan the Stallion. You ever hear of him? Jordan Stallion? I think I've heard the name. Yeah, yeah. So he's the president of the Fast Food Secrets Club. Um, hmm. that, that's that's like his 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 claim to fame. Um, and he got he has, he has the secrets, man. He has the secrets. Like like this man needs to be protected because Ron McDonald, Wendy, like like the the Burger King himself, they are they are all the Colonel. They are all gunning for this man because he knows <laughs> he knows way more than they want him to. It's like I'm honestly surprised he hasn't been assassinated. Um, like are you talking like secret menu stuff? Or are you talking like no? I'm talking like secrets? he like the the herbs and spices, man. He knows the herbs and spices. Ooh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he he knows the herbs like like In and Out Burger. He knows the In and Out sauce recipe. Like they th they flat out threatened this man. Like he 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 went to the restaurant. And he's like, yeah, can I just get a couple more packages? They're like, we only give you three packages. They're like, okay, well, I'll, I'll just make my own. They're like, you don't know the recipe. He's like, um, yes, yes, I do. They're like. Well, no, you don't. And he tells them the recipe, like, oh shit. And they're like, well, you, be you better not tell anybody, or or you'll be on In and Out Burger's bad side. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> a threat sued. of some sort. And he's like, so of course I'm going to tell everyone. And he proceeds to list off the recipe. How does he, how is he not being sued, though? Uh, because you can't really trademark a recipe unless you make it and then you uh, market it as, like, this is the In and Out Burger sauce. I'm selling it. Oh, okay. I thought it would have been like a trade secret or something like that. I'd no, see, that, that's, see, that's the up. reason why people keep trade secrets. They don't tell you the recipes because that. Mm, okay, I get but, it. Yeah, so. 
Uh, like yeah, he knows, he knows the Mac sauce. He 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 knows, he knows. Anyway, the reason I brought it up in context is uh, he he recently did one that I thought was very interesting. I never thought to try it, um, but it was uh, no sugar added lemonade, like the big like twenty I don't know twenty ounce, twenty five ounce. You know the ones, the like the the big jugs that come in the market. Yeah, yeah. Um, don't do not take that clip out of context. Um, <laughs> face it. so long story short you take one of those you take a kool-aid packet boom that's all get the kool-aid packet right in the lemonade shake it up and it, supposedly it's delicious man i'm gonna have to write that down yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's he, like he did blue raspberry lemonade and apparently he was like i literally cannot drink lemonade normally anymore man this dude yeah, he does need to be protected at all costs. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he he knows. This. So check him out, Jordan the Stallion. He's on TikTok and YouTube. Otto is a jugs man confirmed. Excuse you. You know what? I was gonna say something. I was gonna say something, and I stopped myself. I am a family friendly streamer. So downstairs then. What? What? <laughs> I, let me just say, I enjoy like some people like pie, but I like cake. And that's all I'm gonna yeah, say. My man. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the, the family friendly way of what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I believe it's your turn. <laughs> all right. Another fact. What can I think of here? What can I think of here to completely derail this whole thing? <laughs> hmm. You are trying to derail like a hovercraft, man. We are we are way off at this point. Yeah, no, like I didn't have any uh I wasn't sure what tonight was gonna be like. Neither was and, I like <laughs> whatever my preconception was it has been like it has been surpassed always keep them guessing blown out. <laughs> all right a fact about myself i don't know what, what what can i say about myself that's a fact without giving away my identity while you think of that the child has just spread all of the couch cushions out across the floor and is walking across them like a bridge for no apparently reason yeah, yeah, floor is lava, man. I guess. <laughs> or it's really, really advanced interior design. She gets the other guy and goes, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Dane. That's, that's of you. Great. That's adorable. I mean, oh my goodness, this kid's gonna steal my spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, effect. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He has that effect on right. everyone. Yeah, it's all good. I, I act the same way on, on my streams. I can't keep a, a concise train of thought. But, let's see now. I have done part-time hairdressing for a living. Hmm. You know, I want that to be true. I want that to be true. Um, But do I think it's true? You know what? I'm. Uh, you know what? I want it to be true. I'm a manifest. I'm going to say true. It's false. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> ah, well. I I try. I, I I was hoping that was true. That that that's, that's like an interesting character arc. You know what I mean? Like, um. Yeah, I thought you might have seen the ponytail. Be like, hmm, he knows something about hair. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, would you have guessed that I I knew how to do nails properly? I mean, it, I don't know. If you would have said like, it, it was a little specific. It was I was like, hmm. Specific. Well, uh, okay, so I got—I literally got held hostage by a uh, a very old retired lady who used to work as a nail technician with dementia, and she held me hostage until I did her nails correctly. So I had to learn very quickly. If you would have said that, <laughs> yeah, there, there is a story. There is a story. Hell yeah! But, if um, you would have said that, I would have been like, I'd probably say would have said true. <laughs> like this, this, this is. Stranger than fiction. <laughs> yeah, no. So, so uh, she she was quite the character, and so uh, one of my best friends, my partner at the time, and 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 she has become one of my best friends, and she has a little daughter who who is also a ginger who plays with. Uh, she was very cute, and the bean is like, yay, another ginger. And anyway, um, uh, the reason <laughs> I bring her up in specific because this woman was convinced that my partner there was part of the, and I quote, "gay Irish Boston mafia." Excuse me? Yep. The, the, le, this is what dementia does to me. She was convinced that my partner was part of the gay Irish Boston Mafia. Like that sounds like that sounds like a joke 
that you would see on like a political website. <laughs> if, it, if it was at some point, it was true to this lady. She was absolutely convinced that my partner was part of the gay Irish Boston Mafia. And, That's and, such a... and don't get me wrong, my partner was gay, Irish, and from Boston, but I don't think she is involved with the Mafia. Wait a minute, hold on now. So did this older lady know this ahead of time, or did she just have to guess it? I, I truly do not know what what old people know it, for real and and just happen to make up that it coincides correctly. You never know, man. You never know. Because that that's like scary. That's like yeah. that's three out of four. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I, I don't know. My my friend, she's got her own life. Maybe she wasn't the mafia. She didn't want to talk about it. I don't know. Um, I mean, I, that is the kind of thing you would keep to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I would you feel like talk about it. You know. <laughs> anyway. Um, she did. She did say there were some family problems. I wonder if it was like family, capital F. Oh, the family. <laughs> anyway, I, I stalled long enough. I have to take a punishment. Man, I want to take a punishment. I feel like it's been skewed in one direction. Ah, oh, god damn it! Oh, I don't want to do this one. Not when I've been drinking. Uh, Man, this one sounds really hard. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to set a timer. I'm just going to suck it. Did she make you any offers you can't refuse? I mean, every friend makes you an offer you can't refuse at some point. Right? Otherwise, like, what's the point of even have friends? Like, Yeah. I mean, granted, the offer was, was please be in my wedding party. So, of course, I wasn't going to refuse that. She was in my wedding party. I wanted to be in her wedding party. You know, obviously. Anyways, five minutes on the clock and go. <clears throat> like Yoda, I must speak for five minutes. I don't need to... Like the accent, I don't need to do. Just the sent uh, sentence structure only must I do. Oh, That's hard facts. this is going to be. Yeah, it's Tur hurting my brain just uh, listening to it. <laughs> my, my turn. It is a fact to tell. A drink Let's I see. need. <laughs> A drink I need. I would love to hear Yoda say that. Ah, a drink I need. A drink I must have. <laughs> this kind of blackjack and hookers and Dagobah we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's Ketamine Yoda all over again. <laughs> Ketamine Yoda? Have you not heard of Ketamine Yoda? Uh, Ketamine Yoda I have not heard of. Ketamine Yoda is like one of the best ASMR trends I've ever seen on the internet. ASMR, like, I, ASMR I was not expecting. <laughs> yeah, it's ASMR. Like one of them is like Ketamine Yoda uh, robs you outside of a nightclub. <laughs> and another one is like Ketamine Yoda. Uh, <laughs> Ketamine Yoda breaks into your house and kidnaps you in order to buy more ketamine. Trying too hard to make content have I been. <laughs> oh man yoda ketamine asmr is my favorite like another one was uh uh ketamine yoda uh, eats pringles and chernobyl reactor 3 as it melts down <laughs> let the shit stream i must apparently <laughs> for real for real a thousand followers i bet he has <laughs> oh you you wouldn't believe i'm pretty sure some of those videos had like Hundreds of thousands of views. So people was digging Kid Me Yoda. <laughs> How hard have I been trying for what have I been? Or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Yoda. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a, a, Yoda. A dark and dangerous place the internet is. <laughs> oh, Unpredictable man. the beast is. That that's it's my kind of place, man. A treasure trove of internet lore is our true. This is. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Uh, oh, that was Mike. Thank you for that, Mike. Fun to watch. This is Voodoo Goblin. I think. <laughs> swords the bean has now. Uh -oh. you say swords. I, swords. I said. <laughs> swords made of foam. Worry not. Worry don't. Uh, uh, don't I was about uh, to say. <laughs> made she's of foam the stream. swords are worry you should not there we go I'm about to say she's coming for the stream <laughs> but not like a lot of inheritance have I <laughs> make ketamine Ryko you should yes yes <laughs> I would like to see that 
I would like to see that. <laughs> well, a, a, a an alien hopped up on drugs, we would see. I mean, a normal human being, we would see. Wink, wink. Oh, yeah. A absolutely. <laughs> a completely, completely normal, everyday human being that happens to be on ketamine. I mean, <laughs> we have plenty of those. Uh, Blend right in. A minute and 30 seconds I still have. <laughs> God damn. Damn God. Whatever. I'm trying to, trying to help you out uh, <laughs> a little bit. Think, thinking of a uh, clue I have not. Uh, human being doing human stuff. True. Um, okay. Um, drink a glass of or a bottle of beer immediately. No, no. Uh, it was uh, once upon time. Eat a bowl of cereal with milk after a bottle of beer, did I? Mistake it was. False or true? True. True it is. It was I... not my proudest <laughs> moment. It reminds my... me of the time I made uh, vodka spaghetti. What? Yep, vodka spaghetti. And More interesting like... your story sounds. Well... <laughs> It's really bare bones, but I, I can tell it. It's um, yes. it's not like vodka sauce, because you know vodka sauce is a thing. Yes. I was at a friend's house, and it was late in the evening. I've been drinking, and I was like Most hungry. The, the the all uh start like that. All the best stories do. <laughs> oh boy, you wait, wouldn't wait, you wouldn't wait, even believe. Wait. Okay, time's up. Oh god. Okay. All right. There we go. I'm free. Ooh. There we go. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Carry on. But yeah, I was hungry, and we had had spaghetti for dinner, but there was some left over. Right. So I just took some noodles, I took the uh, the pasta sauce, put it in a bowl, and then I took the bottle of vodka I was drinking and just poured it in. <laughs> and he, did you even heat it up? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you just had spaghetti cereal with vodka. It it was not good. No, I imagine. But I still not. Ate it. Of course you did. <laughs> Uh, did, did you end up, uh, praying to the porcelain goddess? I did not, actually. Uh, see, no. see, my ass did after the, 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 the cereal. And so, so it was, it was a very bad idea. My wife still holds it over my head to this day. Um, I had been drinking. Uh, I don't drink often, but apparently I come, the reason I don't drink often is because apparently a story comes out of every time I do. Uh, <laughs> or a child. Uh. <laughs> understandable <laughs> um so yeah to this day my wife will let me live down uh the fact that after i'd been drinking a bit i just i was hungry you know and you're never supposed to have an empty stomach after you've been drinking so i was trying to be responsible so i was like well i'll eat a bowl of cereal my wife says don't eat a bowl of cereal you're gonna put milk in that cereal well yeah obviously i'm gonna put milk in that cereal um it's like well milk and alcohol don't mix and i'm like what are you talking about white russians are a thing it's true it's one of my favorites, or former favorites, I should say. So, I, I ate my cereal, and I I was wrong. I was wrong. My wife was right, and I was wrong. I am enough of an otter to say that. Um, and, and, you know, you said uh, you shouldn't have an empty stomach after you've been drinking. I think it's supposed to be before. True. This is true. This is, this is true. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Are you an eggnog fan? Um, You know what? I will have, like, a glass of eggnog every year around Christmas, and that's about it. Now, if you had the milk beforehand, you would have been fine. Probably true if I'd waited a while, but it was, like, right after. Like, I, I finished my last drink, and then I had the cereal, right? Like, like I should there should have been a time buffer. And and I, I wasn't, I was not smashed. I was not shmammied. I had no excuse. It was just a, <laughs> it was just a lapse of judgment, um, which, you know, occur <laughs> regularly. Uh, <laughs> so, going off your white Russian thing, I do have a story about the worst white Russian ever made. Do tell. So I was at the same friend's house, <laughs> and it was late in the evening, and okay, we've been drinking. Between you and the friend, one of you is a bad influence, and I'm not sure which. Oh, it's all of us. We're all we were all bad influences <laughs> back then. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, I had me some vodka because vodka was my favorite drink, and um, I wanted to spice it up a little bit. And my friend had made me a white Russian like a few weeks prior to that, and I was like, I want another one of those, but. We Beanie, didn't have all the. Beanie, leave that alone. Uh oh. Sorry, carry uh -oh. on. Carry on. 
Sorry, my brain uh, blue screen for a minute there. But yeah, I mean, has yeah. an effect on people. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't have all the necessary ingredients right. for a white Russian. So I took vodka. I mixed it with God, mixed it with like packs of coffee creamer. Oh, jeez. Okay. And then threw in like a K cup of like French vanilla on top of it. And uh, wow, how did it was that not good. go? Not good, right now. Not good. Not good. I should imagine not. <laughs> All right, you have bought me enough le uh, leeway before my punishment, but I must now take it. Uh, I'm glad you. Huh? I'm glad you're paying attention because uh, I forgot. <laughs> ah, improvise a haiku. Okay. Um. Uh, let's see here. Cereal, cereal, and milk. After beer, you should not do. Pray to porcelain god. <laughs> <laughs> Inspiring. There you go. Snaps all around. Is there a blue Russian? Hmm. I mean, hmm. Wonder what makes it mm. Russian. So, so you'd have to start with vodka. Hmm. Yeah, Baja you, Blast. Yeah, Baja. <laughs> <laughs> oh That's your blue Russian. <laughs> Every time I hear of the Baja Blast, I think of this one like I don't I don't know what you call it, a sound meme, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. Where this person doing like a perfect like Hank Hill impression was like. I went. To, um, I can't do it. I I went. I went. I can't do a Hank Hill impression. I I went to Taco Bell and had a Baja blast. <laughs> Why have I never thought of that before? And I, every time I hear Baja blast, that that plays in my head. That is living rent free in my head right now. A blue Russian is the one who is out of vodka. Oh, sad Russian. No, it's true though. It's one. facts. This is true. This is true. Uh, all right, it is now your turn to tell a fact. All right, let's see now. I obsessively compulsively snap my knuckles. True. Yes. Yes. It's true. <laughs> At least you don't hold them up to the microphone and go crack. Oh, people still hear it whenever I'm on stream, like because I'll hear it in the playback. It'll just be like me talking and then. Silence and then pop, <laughs> crack, snap, <laughs> crackle. Yeah, pop. Rice Krispies. Oh yeah. All right. Uh, well, uh, you got your wish, and here is your punishment. Let's have it. Let's go. Let's do it. Now you have to tell a pun. Ooh, I got a good one. Okay, I let's got hear a good it. one. Let's hear it. Let's go. So, two clowns mm -hmm. are eating another clown. Mm -hmm. And one turns to the other and says, does this taste funny to you? Yeah, yeah I'm familiar with that one. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know all of these. You're, you're the grandmaster. I, I, I know many of them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping I could get one that would surprise you. <laughs> It'll happen. It'll happen one day. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let me think. Do I know any clown jokes? Um... Hmm. Not nah, nothing's coming to my mind. I'm sure I have some hidden away somewhere in the recesses of my mind, but like most memories involving clowns, they are blocked out. <laughs> are you afraid of clowns? I'm not afraid of. I just don't like them. Um, it's it's so so it's one step away from like mascot characters, like those big costumes. I don't. I can't. I'm terrified of those. Like um, I think it's called mascophobia, which is so. Like, it feels too obvious, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, but, like, like mascot costumes, I can't stand. Um, it, this scared a little bit shit out of me. I, I, I don't have a good reason. I, I don't know if I was scarred as a child and I just have repressed memories, but I, I cannot. But uh, clowns, I don't have that problem because I can see their eyes. Um, it's true. It's and, true. And that's that. I think that's the big thing that I have against mascots is I can't see their eyes. I don't know who this person is. I don't know any of their defining features. I don't even know where they're looking. Um, so that's I think that's what sets me off about those. 
Um, and I'll tell you a fun story. So in my last job, um, it, it came to pass that there had to be a large stuffed bear uh, walking around at some point. You have a clown fetish? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I gotta say that uh, that, that must feel funny. Ha. Uh, <laughs> does he? Does the male clown tie it into an animal for you? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, mm. I'm just gonna hide back here. Shot of shame. Shot of shame. <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. This is family friendly. <laughs> hey man, how do you think families get started? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you, you're you're not wrong. But you ain't right. <laughs> Some of the most depraved crap I've ever heard from was my grandmother. I mean, that's facts. <laughs> my grandma was kind of the same way. Just, like, out there as hell. And I'm like, Grandma, nah, nah, on. <laughs> so, so, okay, so, so, okay, off-color statement. So, so, children, block your ears, but this is the off-color story of the evening. Uh, so, once upon a time, my grandmother's telling me, talking to me, and, uh, like, like, um, this, <laughs> my, my, my younger cousin is the only girl in the family, and, and, uh, I don't I remember I don't remember how the conversation led to it, but we're all sitting there chatting and uh, my aunt and my cousin's mother goes ah, pretty soon you'll be beating off guys with sticks and my mother my grandmother without missing it missing a, a beat uh, without missing a beat goes now nah, usually I use my hands Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind of have an off-color story too it no. doesn't involve my grandma but it involves like, old, for that. older people it involves older people and it was still just as traumatizing <laughs> so at the last job i was at I, w I worked in retail and i went behind the desk to clock in yeah. and there was this older uh hispanic lady you know just sweet as a button really nice and there was an older gentleman that used to work the front door and i guess they were coming behind the the uh the counter to clock in as well right there was a, a person ahead of me, so I just had to wait for a minute. And there was like a spill on the floor. Like somebody dropped an ice cube or something and yeah. it melted. And the older man came back up there and he was like, what happened? What's this all over the floor? And the older lady, like without missing a beat, said, oh, I just got so wet when I saw you. Ah, lovely. And I was just standing there as they were just like, laughing and giggling to each other. I was like, I don't want to be here right now. Please remove me from this situation. Thank you. <laughs> like, you should have seen how visibly I grimaced when I when I heard that statement. I was like, well, I didn't need to hear that. <laughs> how do delete things other people said? <laughs> <laughs> There's a record scratch in my brain. Just wait a minute. Yep, that's me. I bet you're wondering what I did to get myself <laughs> into this situation. My ass went to work. <laughs> yep, I went to work. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I should have just stayed at home. <laughs> uh, indeed, indeed. Okay, uh, whose turn is it? Uh, what was the mm. last one? I think. Hmm. Damn. I think I think you told the last one, and I guessed correctly, and you had to do. Uh, wait, no, wait. Did I do the haiku? Was that the last? One? Hold on, I can check the history. History. Yeah. I tell a remember. bad pun. So yeah, you had to tell a bad pun. So that means you lost because that because I guessed something correctly. Ergo, yes. it's my turn. Okay. All right. See, yes. there we go. There we go. That's oh, I, I just cracked my knuckles. I hope that didn't get up too. Um, got me thinking about it. Okay. Um, hmm. you're among friends. <laughs> you know. So so uh, not not the this is not the clue the trivia. Uh, so my grandmother always told me, don't crack your knuckles. You'll have you'll have arthritis. You know, it turns out that's actually false. That's what I've heard. Um, yeah, supposedly prevailing research says that that actually is is not true. It's just little pockets of air being released when you crack your knuckles won't actually do anything long term unless you go like way overboard and you're like stretching the tendons and shit and doing like dumbass shit, you know. But just, oh, just standard cracking your knuckles actually doesn't do anything. Supposedly, yeah. I'm not a doctor. I play one on TV, but I'm not a doctor. 
you know, funny enough, I heard a story about that. A guy's mom told him his whole life not to crack his knuckles because he'd give him arthritis. Mm -hmm. So just to spite her, he went like 10 years, and I'm like not kidding. It was a long period of time just cracking the knuckles on one hand while not doing it on the other. Oh, he, and he went it up. And he went and got tested, and his hands are both exactly the same. Ah. He did that just despite his mom. And I'm like, man, I aspire to that level of pettiness. Hey, hey you know what? That that is that is having a control group versus a, a variable group, and I respect the scientific method used in that situation. He took the matter into his own hands. Literally. <laughs> All right. So so on the topic of hands, why don't I go ahead and and, and do a hand based clue? Um, so on my, and this is, this is the true, this is the possibly true statement on my left hand. I have a massive scar from a meat slicer, just a future guest, Zeruk Windcaller, punishable horror. Okay. I will look them up for Zeruk. You've been saving up. Sneaking. You've been sneaking Zeruk. I didn't, you didn't say anything. And then boom, enough points to just, that's it. All right. Punishable horror. I will remember that. Thank you. Thank you for the redeem. All right, so on my left hand, I have a massive scar from a time I, uh, let's just say I high-fived a meat slicer. Hmm. I'm going to say false. Technically, you're correct. It is false. It's my right hand. Oh, so, damn, I do have, so, uh, yeah, I do have the massive scar. It is two and a half inches long, give or take. Oh, God. Um... I I I high five the knee slicer. Um, so, what, so, what's, what's the story behind that? Um, so it was my second week on the job. I was working at the deli, and uh, one of the jobs you have to do when working at the deli is preparing uh, prepared hot meals, right? Um, mm -hmm. so we'd prepared some uh, child is yodeling. She's just laying on the floor <laughs> yodeling. <laughs> Kids. Um, so we'd prepared, uh, meatloafs and the, you know, you slice the meatloafs up, put them with some mashed potatoes and gravy. Boom. You got yourself a, a, a to go meal. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so we had a big slab of meatloaf. You put it on the meat slicer, you run it through cut slabs of it. And the thing about that is the slabs were about an, an inch wider. So now here's the problem with that. The guard on the meat slicer is only about mm, half an inch wide. So you can see where this is starting to become a problem. Um, mm. and mind you, I'm only in my second week, so I'm just doing what I'm told. Uh, my trainer, you know, so I put the meat, put the meatloaf on the meat slicer and just zip, zip, zip. Uh, so I'm, you know, I see a spinning blade of death. I'm very slowly zip, zip, zip. You know, I, uh, homie ain't playing <laughs> no games. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately that was not fast enough for my trainer. Speed it up. She says, speed it up. Uh, you know, I, and I, I, it was my first job. I, I was younger and I was, uh, I was nervous, you know, spinning blade of death did not help the situation. Uh, mm -hmm. so, so I did what I was told and I sped it up and zip, 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 zip. And then, zip. oh, oh, God. let me tell you, I have never sworn so loud in my life. They heard me across town. <laughs> I yell, shit! And then, <laughs> and, and I just kept repeating the F word over and over. And I, I told Sar that he had to save his one F bomb, so I'm not going to overuse mine either. But I just kept saying <laughs> the F word over and over and over as I ran to the back. And a not unreasonably large size chunk of my hand was um, uh, elsewhere. Oh my god. Um, it was still technically attached. Ah! Why must I suffer through the bears while I'm recounting my horror? Yeah, there I was a the lot bears. of rainbows. Thank you for the bear <laughs> sketch. Yeah, there was ow. There was rainbows or pink goo, depending on what your preferred media is. It was everywhere. Needless to say, we had to throw that particular batch of meatloaf out. Um... Uh, and of course, my dumbass. The first thing I think to do is run to the back, grab the sprayer, and start spraying the wound. I don't know why I thought that was the move to make, but I guess I really just wanted to make sure there was no meatloaf in the wound. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I was bleeding out. I had to. I, that was where my brain went. And of course, it didn't help. So, so the person who was supervising me was not actually a supervisor. She was just another member of the deli staff. So she goes and grabs the acting supervisor. Uh, who is not the actual supervisor, but is hemophilic or hemophobic or, or whatever the word is. 
Um, so she gets scared a little bit of blood uh, to the mm-hmm. point where she nearly passes out. So if she comes back, sees you know bits of me everywhere, and nearly passes the hell out. So so she goes and runs to get the store manager, and at that point, my I am fed up. So I'm like, God damn it, just go get and and I tell him go get my friend who who has a car because I didn't have a car. I was like, just go get him. I'm like, God damn it, somebody <laughs> with a car, come come, let's go hospital, dumbass. <laughs> like shit, I am bleeding out over here. I do not need you passing out, you being worthless, and you just being covered in meatloaf and blood. Oh my god. There, that's the by the way, that's gonna be the title of my new novel, Meatloaf and Blood, an otter story. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> Delightful. Uh so so and, and, you know, the saga does not stop there either. The so I will always remember uh relatable since so <laughs> Meatloaf and hey. Blood, relatable. <laughs> Um, so we get to the hospital, I get triaged by the nurse, you know, as, as you do, so, which basically just amounted to be like, hold these paper towels very tightly because, and of course it's my right hand. So, you know, that's my dominant hand. So I, it's like, okay, so can you write your name? No, I cannot. It's like, uh, are you sure? It's like, I am right-handed and most of it is over there. Oh God. <laughs> I, you know, that's an exaggeration. I did have a chunk, um loosely connected uh let's just say uh but it, oh it, god it, yeah so i can't write with my left hand i've tried to teach myself to write with my left hand it just never panned out um mm. anyway so and i will always remember what this goddamn doctor said because you when you run to the emergency room you don't always get the the doctors that passed first in their class because you know what they say <laughs> uh it, what, what do you call the person that came in last in their class at medical school what do you call them uh, a dentist. You call them doctor. Doesn't matter if they came in first in their class or last in the class. As long as they passed it, they're they're, they're your doctor. Um, Sorry, so I'll this... get this note there. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag can- cancel SAR, justice for dentists. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's the tooth. <laughs> uh, doctor, yeah. <laughs> doctor. Doctor. Um, either way, so this guy was a couple of marbles short of a game, let's just say. Um, he was, he was a few fries short of a combo meal. He was, uh, he was definitely that guy that, that only really got the degree because he paid the bills, basically. Oh, So his ass comes in, and he goes, he looks at me, uh, you know, I'm I'm sitting there, I'm bleeding out, I'm watching medical shows on TV, because apparently that's what you put on in the emergency room is a medical show where somebody's dying, which was great. Mm, Um... And he goes, all right, uh, what are you in here? And I just kind of hold my, my gauze-ridden hand up like, uh, this. And he's like, all right, let's take a look. And he, he pulls all the gauze off haphazardly, which hurt like a bitch, by the way. Uh, yeah. And he looks at it, puts it back on, looks at me and goes, there's a hole in your hand. I go, wow, really? <laughs> you don't say. No shit. He goes, why'd you do that? I just really wanted to get out of work early today, I guess. <laughs> Bruh, why did you do that? Uh, I think you did it on purpose. <laughs> uh, so so he, he patched me up, so to speak. But uh, to this day, I can only move my right thumb uh, about half as far as I can move my left thumb. Um, oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, and, and, and to this day, my, my uncle, who actually is a doctor... Uh, still picks on me. He says, yeah, you should have you let me patch you up. And I'm like, bro, I was bleeding out. I had to make a snap decision and you live 45 minutes away. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Choices were made. They may not have ended up the best, but I had only a few options and I was losing blood rather rapidly. Because <laughs> yeah. apparently that spot has a lot of blood. I didn't realize it had a lot of blood, but it has a lot of blood. Yeah, uh, not yeah. as much as it had five minutes before then, but <laughs> <laughs> anywho, I have delayed long enough. He was correct. Uh, my my story was technically false, which I was I was hoping to get you on a technicality. I hoping I was hoping you were gonna say true, and I'd be like, aha, it was not my left hand. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm so smart. <laughs> but no, no, you got me. Fair and square. So I suffer the consequences. What kind of consequences I, I, we got? I'm not doing another jazz solo. Come on, something different. There are 70 options on this wheel. I should not be getting repeats. All right, fair enough. I'll take a, I'll take a bean. Yeah. Boop. We need 
More beans. We need like 17 more. Yes. All right. <laughs> it is your turn. Mm, Rachel's on fire okay. tonight. Put her out. Uh, uh, is that pineapple? Pineapple on pizza, you monster. Uh oh. It's literally gonna... just like a, a piece of a pizza with a pineapple on it. Are we, are we gonna have this discussion about pineapple on pizza? Okay, yeah, let's have this discussion on pineapple on pizza. What is your stance uh, on pineapple on pizza? I love a good Hawaiian pizza. Alright, so so I have feelings about this, right? So okay, so so live and let live, everybody can you put pineapple on my pizza, we're gonna have a problem. Um, <laughs> now, so, so the worst sin my wife has ever done in, in our nearly a decade, we are, we are literally, uh, what, what month are we in August? Next month, we'll have been married 10 years. So next month Ooh, is our rich. decade anniversary. The worst thing she has ever done to me in our entire decade of marriage is she made me order a pineapple and ham pizza, no cheese, mm. extra sauce. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I was with you all up until you said no cheese and extra sauce. Yep. Like, why? <coughs> why no cheese? Because she's the saddest. So, wait. <laughs> Hold on now. No cheese, extra sauce. You know, it's I, I'm the kind worst of thing that. she's ever done to me in our 10 years of marriage is made me order that because it was like i really don't want to be the one place in this order she's like i want you to place that i don't want to talk to like i just got some kind of paranoia about talking to people on the phone whatever fine whatever i don't mm -hmm. i don't really like talking to people on the phone either so fine fair enough but that that order haunts me i i have that sin on my conscience of being the one that had to, to order that monstrosity Hey, you were just the messenger. I was just no the messenger. And 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 even <laughs> even the pizza person's like, "Are you? Are you sure?" And I'm like, man, I don't want it, but they're, she's making me man. <laughs> Should have snuck that in on your breath, my man. That's what she wants. <laughs> uh, it ain't me. <laughs> scar, scarred to this day. I am scarred to this day. Uh, anyway, um, I believe it is your turn. Yeah, I was like supposed to be born on thinking pizza. Hmm. They have that a lot in the UK. I would try it once, Mike. I, I have never had corn on pizza, so I can't pass judgment. Uh, but I would try it once, and I would not have hope for it. You want to know what I had that was interesting one time? Uh, my wife and I, we went to a concert, and afterwards we found just this random Korean restaurant, I think it was. And mm -hmm. um, just because we... we we, we, we found it, we sat down, and we, we could not understand a word of the menu, so it was, like, legit. Like, it, it was it was in big in Indonesia. I'm definitely not a fan. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> um, I think it was a Korean restaurant anyway, but, um, so so the, the, the menu was in English, but it was, like, in weird English, and we just genuinely did not know what corn cheese was. Corn cheese? Corn cheese. That's all it said. Corn cheese. So, of course... My wife being my, my wife in the spirit of chaos that she is, is like, well, we obviously need to find out what corn cheese is. So <laughs> we ordered corn cheese. You know what? It was it was corn cheese. It was corn and cheese. Full stop. I, I feel like I'm... Nope. You're not missing anything. It was corn and cheese. Full it's just stop. corn and cheese? Corn and cheese. Like a can of corn niblets and melted cheese. Full stop. That's why all. I I don't know. It was <laughs> it was mid. Uh, it it was it was corn cheese. I I I, I don't know, man. That's all. That's all I gotta say on that. But that that you can only. Oh god damn, that's a good one. All right, you can only listen. So so that we don't have to t take that punishment right now. But it is going on the wheel. Thank you for redeeming. Add a punishment sketch. Ooh, Speed that is a good one. In a whisper, for. 60 seconds. All right. Good one, Sketch. Very nice. All right. Thank you, okay. Sketch. All right. You got one? I think so. I I had it, and I'm thinking about it right now. People in Asia eat shredded cheese. Sometimes condensed I mean, milk. That, you know what? That could be what it was. I mean, it just looked like cheese to me, like melted cheese, but it could have been cheese and, like, condensed milk. I don't know. I mean... Hi, you want uppies? Okay, uppies. Ah. Gonna do a, uh, a solo again? 
Yep. <laughs> Damn, I had a good one. And I forgot it. Yeah, Bean has the effect on people. Is that so? <laughs> Tom is trying sing. to think, baby. Let him, let him think. Can I have a smooch? Aww. Give me a suggestion, Bean. Give me a suggestion, Bean. Bean, you got any suggestions for for Con? Don't you just see Bluey? Fair enough. Oh, I've been upstage by Bluey. It happens. It is a good show. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Damn it. Oh, I remember now. Okay. Um, I can do a pretty good Meatwad impersonation. Hmm. I'm going to go with true mostly because I want to hear it. You are correct. Aha! I win. So, I'll have to take the punishment right now. <laughs> do what now, says Raiko? <laughs> All right. Yeah. You don't know who Meat Rod is, Raiko? Oh, ho, ho, ho. no sooner is it there than it is on. Oh, boy. All right. I'm gonna... I just have to... I'm going to set the timer. That's minutes, so let's do 60 seconds. No, not six seconds. You lemon. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Uh, 60 seconds is a minute. I'm dumb. I'm sitting there trying to just type it. Okay, 60 seconds start now. All right. Can, you should hear him read hear erotic it? visual novel scenes in the... No, no, thank you. That, yes. That's going to be a pat. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I do it. I do it every weekend, man. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the uh, more popular things that I <laughs> ended up doing. <laughs> hey, you should see Mike has a, a healthy enthusiasm for whenever those scenes come around. Yeah, uh, I, I see that. I can see that. Uh, Rekha is <laughs> nice for Skitch. Skitch, Skitch, I feel like you have some kind of like dark magical power over my wheel because you're also the only person to ever manage to pull out the, uh, the double reverse Uno on me. Like, you you manifested it, you called for it, and it occurred, and you, that's the only time I've ever seen it. And now you just magically made your punishment immediately come up. So I I don't know, man. I feel like Skitch has some kind of dark magic. Shout out, Skitch. Can you <laughs> can you tell me the lotto numbers? <laughs> All right, sixty seconds is up. Skitch is powerful. True. <laughs> Baby, why are you yodeling? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I don't slap me. I don't slap. Child. <laughs> ah, oh. No. No. <laughs> no. I, do we don't hit. We don't hit. No. 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 I'm telling you, bro. She's going to be a wrestler one day. Uh, she's going to be a thug. Ah, my ears. <laughs> Child. Ah. You ever seen one of those zombie movies or like the puns on the zombie movies or whatever where like the, the zombie stands up and points at the screen and goes, Rah! that's what she's doing right now. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm also trying to dodge her beanie fist of Yuri. <laughs> Karn, are you a Man. wrestler in real life? Karn, are you a wrestler in real life? Raiko wants to know. That? I, I am not. I, at one point I wanted to be and I was going to be, but life got in the way and I'm just an enthusiast now. I live vicariously through uh, this model. Fair enough, fair enough. Bean is, is like actively trying to take swings at me, and I'm like duck dive dodging it. I can see that. Hit him with the frog splash. <laughs> Get the steel chair. <laughs> the bean has hit me with multiple items. I do not need to be struck by a chair. Which he's big enough to lift a chair. Child, my God! <laughs> get, no, hike? no, aha, aha. Dad's quick. Dad's quick. Yeah, when beans attack live at nine and Fox. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> this child is nuts. Oh my goodness! When she can actually start talking, I am in big trouble. Oh yeah, this this isn't going to be uh, your stream anymore. Yeah, seriously, I'm going to have to get her own model. <laughs> Tiny would make her. Beanie, do not turn off the microphone. Do not turn off. Oh, it's funny, is it? It's funny, is it? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, do we remember whose turn it was? Like. Yeah. 
Ow! Child! Uh-oh. That was painful! <laughs> Falls back in the live. Yeah, ow. That one... Yo, stop it! Man. <laughs> Bean He's got that dog set along. <laughs> it's Otter's turn. Turn for... Oh, it's my turn? Okay, cool, cool. Um, oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. That's right. Uh, use it. Okay, so... Um, true or false? As a kid... I genuinely thought I was going to be a farmer when I grew up. True. It is true. I played way too much. Ah, my ears, child. Why? Should I scream it into the microphone? Oh my god! No, she's screaming right into my ear. <laughs> I'm covering her mouth. She's just... She's having the time of her life. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Uh, my ears are <laughs> no. No. Mute. Mute the child. <laughs> you good? No, no. No, no. No. <laughs> so my, my wife has recently taught me something that she is absolutely going to regret. There goes my phone. Uh, oh Grim, you had to grab a couple of burritos. Mm. Completely understand that we are we are dealing with a spicy bean of our own, as it were. Uh, uh, so oh, yeah, yeah. The, the wife recently taught the bean something she is absolutely going to regret, or I am going to absolutely regret. Um, and it's called "Don't Bite Me." Um, mm -hmm. And it's where she holds her finger up to the bean's mouth and goes, "Don't bite me," and the bean, of course, bites her. Yep. Um, and laughs, and the wife laughs, and, and, and it's a grand old time. Don't hit my microphone. Um, and it's a grand old time until her teeth are bigger. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and I mean, I can't complain too much. I taught the child how to give headbutts out of affection, but I have a strong enough head where it doesn't affect me. However, my wife's skin is only so thick. Mm -hmm. So teaching the yep. child to bite. Is maybe not gonna go well in middle school or grade school or kindergarten. Stop trying to take the microphone, child. <laughs> ah! It's the bean takeover. <laughs> it really is. It's this is nuts. She's she is completely off her rocker. Like more so than usual. Is that like a normal thing? They or usually grow the... out of it. Uh I don't know if they grow out of it. Yeah, I think says so, Grim, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know if she's growing out of it because, the, like I said, my wife is like teaching her to do it because it's funny, and I'm like, it's only gonna be funny until she clamps all the way down. Yep. Tifas don't play. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, and, and down she goes. Okay. <sighs> all right. <laughs> uh... You are a saint. I have to say. <laughs> Beanie, Beanie, you're the one that put yourself down there. I still bite people, Ryko. Really? Bean, why are you uh -oh. crying about being on the floor? You put yourself there. You want back uppies? You want back uppies? Come on. Uppy day. Uppy day. Come on. You're fine. <laughs> you want it's you fine. Come here. Yeah. Oh no, that was just me uh playing bongos on her mouth. Oh. Hey, hey. hey. Oh. <laughs> Alright, the bean has decided that we have had enough time on stream. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I knew it. Sir Cod, why don't you go ahead and say goodbye to our lovely audience? Go ahead and hype anything up you'd like to hype. Um, well I don't know what to say. I would like to thank you very much for having me on uh, the stream here. Well thank you for coming. I, oh, I didn't I know if the mic was gone. Yeah, I, I muted it for a second uh, because that that because of that. Uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Uh, apologies that uh, I'm kind of uh, wrapping things up in a rather abrupt manner, but um, that that hey, right duty there. calls, man. Duty <laughs> so, calls. <laughs> uh, thank you for everybody for coming out. Thank you, Zarkon, for being my guest for this evening. I'm gonna be let. I'm talking louder to try and uh, drown out the bean rampage in the background. 
So uh, I, I apologize for the abrupt end, but thank you for coming. And remember to folks to stay odd out loud. It's a hell of a lot more fun. Child, screaming child takes precedence. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's go ahead and just quickly find ourselves somebody to raid. <laughs> Uh, who all Ray is target. doing stuff right now? Uh, what? Oh my goodness. Child. Child. Oh, oh, now you're okay? Now you're good? No, no, you're not. Okay, I, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Alright, we're gonna go raid Bio Steampunk. Bio Steampunk? Bio Steampunk. He is playing some Pokemon. No, no, what is he playing? Hold on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's playing some Yakuza. Let's go hang out with Yakuza. Oh my goodness. Whoop whoop. Bio Steampunk. There he is. Alright, we're gonna go raid Bio Steampunk. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. And you guys, this has been an awesome show. Thank you for coming. I apologize for the very abrupt and very aggressive end. She is now running a rampage. I have to go make sure she doesn't set anything on fire. Until next time, folks, remember to stay out loud. It's a hell of a lot more fun that day. Goodbye.